I'm Carissa Fain. Um, but I'm the Young Children's Community Guide here at Butler. I work with the children 18 months to 36 months. One thing that I always am encouraging parents to try and incorporate at home is as much time as possible uh, and I know that's a big challenge but the best way to support the young children in their personal development is by giving them the time to try and do things on their own. The biggest example with this is anytime they're getting dressed or undressed. Um, I'm sure many people or everyone has had the battle of it's time to put your shoes on. We have that battle here daily but it doesn't have to be a battle. Uh, we have this beautiful luxury of time. So the children, a part of our routine is allowing anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes for someone to put on their shoes. Uh, a big part of that is finding the balance between how we can help them with the minimal amount of interference that's possible. So for shirts, that might look like holding the, the cusp of their sleeve and then verbally saying, pull your arm inside your sleeve. So you're not physically manipulating their arm. You're giving them the opportunity to pull their arm in their sleeve while you're supporting them by holding the sleeve. And so if you start doing that as young as they're capable of following directions, I mean, even six months, eight months, like uh, when they're able to sit up and really hold themselves still, they can start being collaboratively involved in taking their shirts on and off. Of course, a 12 month old cannot be told, put on your shirt, but they are able to dress themselves and to have that autonomy from a very young age. It just looks different. Um, by the time they're two or even you know later, but it's mainly just a, t a matter of practice. The more that they practice with some assistance, the more that they get closer to being able to do it by themselves. Um, it's the same type of thing with pants and with socks and shoes. It's offering little bits of help. Um, with socks, it might be showing them to hold the edge of the sock and pull it open wide. And anytime you're showing and modeling behaviors to the children, we try to really be dramatic, really open the sock wide. And that helps them see instead of saying, you know, this is how we put on our sock and pull it on real fast. By showing them the steps broken down, they're really able to get an understanding of what we're hoping they can accomplish. Um, the matter of choosing to put their things on sometimes doesn't always end up how we want it to end up. Um, we often send children home with pants backwards and with shoes on the wrong feet and socks inside out. And that doesn't come from us not caring. And just like we know when they come to us like that, it doesn't mean that parents don't care. It means that the children have an opportunity to do something the best that they can on their own. And it usually doesn't have an adult product for many years. Um, sometimes primary children, the three to six year olds, even end up going home with backwards pants and you know, inside out shirts, maybe even sometimes elementary. But the fact that they're getting the autonomy and the, the free will of putting on their own clothes is, is really empowering. And such a simple act lets them see just a small bit of what they're capable of. 